At over 3,400 square miles, Yellowstone is larger than the state of Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Although Yellowstone is not the largest national park in the US, it's perhaps best known for sitting on top of a supervolcano. The system is still considered active, and contains a reservoir of magma big enough to fill the Grand Canyon several times over. A park official has come forward and said that thermal springs near Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park has erupted for the fourth time in the last 60 years. This particular spring went from being dormant to spewing steam and water between 20 and 30 feet high. Something interesting to note is that this height has not been recorded since 1957. This activity includes new erupting vents and surface fractures, and it's meant that officials at the park have had to close a boardwalk in the popular upper basin. This is because getting hit with this water can injure people due to the heat. Recently, in 2014, there have been spring eruptions. This particular one is known as Steamboat and has been in dormancy since 2014. However, suddenly on the 15th of March it erupted. Then again on the 19th of April, the 27th of April and the 4th of May. Specialists have come forward and said that over a period of two weeks, more than 200 earthquakes hit Yellowstone and this told scientists that a huge tectonic plate shift had taken place underneath the surface of the Earth. It was said that two of the three warning signs had been detected, and if all three had detected, an eruption could happen. This caused panic when visitors were at the site. These warning signs include seismic activity increasing, an increase of gas outlet at the surface and the ground deforming. However, as of today, there hasn't been any ground deforming, but there has been an increase in the gas outlet and seismic activity both under and above the ground surface. Many people have started to get nervous. Seismologists have come forward and said that if there was an eruption at Yellowstone, there would be mass destruction. However, experts working at the National Earthquake Information Center don't seem to be worried, and have tried to come and reassure people. Scientists are constantly keeping an eye on Yellowstone. For volcanologists, the biggest worry is wind-flung ash. The ash would be pretty devastating for the United States. The fallout would include short-term destruction of Midwest agriculture, and rivers and streams would be clogged by Grey Mark. However, as mentioned, scientists are not worried about there being an eruption. The last eruption was 640,000 years ago, and the volcano is powerful enough to leave most of the US covered in ash. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.